If you're an engineer or other technical professional and you want to become a leader in your organization, there are a couple things that you're going to have to do to make that transition to leadership. In this week's engineering management lessons video, I have with me Nick Veganer. Nick is a senior principal and chief technical officer at Simpson, Gumperts, and Hager, otherwise known as SGH. And Nick is going to share with us those few things that you have to do. Nick, how do you make that transition? The first thing that, um, you know, if I reflect on my career, the first thing that is important to leadership is you have to be, you have to be able to solve the problem. You have to do peerless technical work. Be very, very careful. And as an engineer, uh, the quality of your technical solutions, uh, the training that you undertake is really your stock and trade. So first of all, you have to be able to solve the technical problem. That goes without saying. The second most important thing, though, that will turn you into a real leader is you have to understand that you measure your success not by what you accomplish, but by what the people that you coach and teach and help and mentor, what they accomplish, because that is how you grow a successful. That's how you grow a healthy organization. So you have to look around you for others, influence them positively, help them help them solve their problems, be that in the office, um, you know, in their designs or, you know, elsewhere. It's very, very also very important that you build the soft skills to do that. And, and for that, you have to be, you have to be empathetic. You have to be a good communicator. You have to find the right words and uh, you have to find a way to make others successful. That is really, that is really the key to, you know, finding your way into leadership, realizing that it's not about you, but it is about elevating the entire team. That's great. I think that's a really important message because I think the biggest challenge for technical professionals getting into leadership is we are so used to being in the details of a project and we are so used to working on our own tasks that when the time comes to make that transition, it can often be very challenging to step out of the individual role, you know, and focus more on the team and kind of kind of like what I like to say is become more or less like the CEO of your projects or, you know, or the CEO of your team, as opposed to just being that person cranking through calculations and reports. So if you're out there thinking about, you know, a technical professional and you do want to become a leader, you know, to Nick's point, you're going to have to start to shift from leading yourself to leading others. And you're going to want to build the appropriate skill sets to help you do that. The soft skills, like Nick's mentioned, you know, the ability to delegate effectively and make sure that you're really focusing on team results as opposed to individual results. Thanks so much, Nick. We really appreciate the message. I hope you enjoyed that message from Nick, and I hope you can utilize his advice to become a strong technical leader. And please subscribe to our channel here as we do put out videos like this on a weekly basis to help engineers become better managers and leaders.